We are back on West Franklin Street, yep. right at the corner of 11th at the West Side Nut Club Fall Festival. But it's not raining right now. Not yet. But I really think we're going to make it through the lunchtime rush. Uh, yes, I do. Well, you have the hat for it and my umbrella. I'm ready. As you can see, it's right there. <laughs> I'm prepared for the rain. You know I am. We had a lot of rain this morning, and there are some puddles out here, but I tell you, it's dry There's right now. There's a puddle now. right there. I just set it my food in it. <laughs> just set my food in it. Did you? Yeah. That's all right. There's okay. plenty more food That's to come. Okay. I see it over here, so we'll be all right. And I just think it's going to work out. I mean, we look like we're going to be seeing about a couple of hours. We're going to be dry. We'll have a few more showers later on today. Now, dinner might be a little different story, but I think for the lunch, we're doing okay. That's okay because that's when I'm here. I know, exactly. <laughs> we're not worried about the evening crew. At all. No, at all. not at all. Hey, listen, thank you all for being with us all week at this uh, kind of pared down fall festival. But, you know, it's been great for the booths who are here oh, because they've made more money. There's not as much competition. Right. That's absolutely the case. And I, I will say this, Angie, you know, you know, even though, you know, we've got the threat of rain out here, we're not seeing it, uh, the crowd's not that bad. So, I mean, oh, you, no, if you good. need to get out here for lunch, this is this will be the day to do it. It's cooler out here, too. So, oh, that's yeah. working out pretty well. we got to start the day with food, what of course. And we have, This is a walking street taco oh, from yeah. Booth 98, the All Saints Catholic Parish. Dropped a lime. It's almost healthy. It's all Did you drop your lime? Oh, uh, good. Did you? Isn't it good? It's, I'm gonna. It's got yeah. Thirty second rule. I'll pick it up here in a minute. Uh -huh. That's very good. Isn't that good? To what booth number was that? That again? is booth uh, 98, the All Saints Catholic Parish. Awesome, and they have other kind. They have pork and they have chicken. Mm, I love but, it. Ron, in my life. Yeah. In my entire life, and mm. it's been a long one. No, it's not been that I've long. I've never had one of these. I will never eat one of those again. You go right ahead and dig well, in. Well, baby, Pantopa. pick it. This is so for you. You're telling me you've never had I one. I have never, Pantopa? ever, ever. Ever had a pronto pup. This is from booth 90. This is from booth 67. Wait, wait a minute, wait, before you take a bite of it. People, we are witnessing history it's here. It's history. Angie's been on television for numerous decades, and yet never once has she had a pronto pup. This is it. Drum this roll, it. please. Do you have a co host to come in about Kilo? I'm making a big mess over here. And here it is the first pronto pup of Angie's life. How's it taste? Does it taste like you expected it? It was at everything you thought it would be. And more. And more. <laughs> And more. <laughs> well, if you want Daddy, everything. you like these? Okay. It's not bad. It really isn't. I mean, you well, know. I mean, it's a hot dog wrapped in cornmeal. I mean, that's kind of what I'm you got. sure when it comes out of the fryer, it's a humdinger, too. Uh, I would imagine so. So it's so cooled off a little that bit. That is the, the nice people at St. Pete United Methodist, booth 67. If you love pronto pups, they have other things, too. Now, are you okay. ready to be on fire? Come I'm on, ready guys. to be on fire. Come on up here, fellas. Watch out for the lime that I spill right there. I'll let you guys get in the middle here, and I'll just take the end. Oh, my, wow. You, oh, you got, like, Slurpees, too. Oh, my That's gosh. Great. You can put I'm those glad up I have there. something to drink. All right. Good deal. So what are we looking at right here? This is the Firefighters Local 357. Yep. What's your booth? It's booth 20, 26. 26. And what is this now? So we've got two, we've got two sausage burgers for you guys to try. Mm -hmm. The one on my left is the Hawaiian peanut butter burger, and the one on my right is our flaming peanut butter burger. I'll do flaming. I'll do Hawaiian. Okay, is it real? It, okay. So what makes it Hawaiian? Yeah, yeah, tell, us, yeah, tell us about the Hawaiian burger. So the Hawaiian peanut butter burger, we add crushed pineapple with peanut butter and a quarter pound sausage burger. It's delicious. And then the jalap the other one, the flaming has jalapenos instead of the pineapple. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ready? Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Are the seeds in the jalapenos? You'll find out. All right, oh, okay. okay. Well, Angie, you try yours first. Okay. See what you think. Hawaiian burger right there. What oh, do you think? Really good. Is that the first time you've ever had that in your life, too? Yes. Two firsts. Two firsts, ladies and gentlemen. And when you're my age, two, for a first anything is a big deal. Well, no. <laughs> How many meals have you had in your life, Angie? How many meals have I had in my life? I've never. Sort of a two, right? In moments. I will say this I've never had a flaming peanut butter burger. So this is going to be a first mm. for me, too. And I've had a lot of things out here on the Fall Festival. Mm. All right. It's got seeds. It's got seeds. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I mean, it's hotter. That's okay. Yeah, we got Slurpees here, too. What you got here? So, due to the ski shortage, we're having trouble getting ski for our booth, but we have the Big Red Slushies and, oh. and Sunkiss Slushies. Oh, my goodness. I Big bet Red. you need that right now. Uh, well, yeah, I could probably use that right now, too. So, wait a minute. What? I never heard about the ski shortage. What's the problem going on there? I guess what's COVID, but, I mean, we're not having any trouble getting Sunkiss or Big Red, though, right? Uh, we, just, we can't find any ski two liters anywhere in town. We've really? worked with uh, Chasers, Frontier Liquor, We've called pretty much every grocery store in town, and it's no one has It's a ski crisis. It's got, a ski crisis. We've got cans, we've got bottles, but when we're doing slush machines, it's hard to do 
26 cans to fill up a slush machine. Well, I would imagine so. So basically, we're getting breaking news here, too. We've had know, two firsts. We're getting breaking day. news. We've got a ski shortage. And let me tell you something. If there's ever a dire situation on the west side, it's a ski shortage or a grippo shortage on this side of town. I think without a doubt, uh, that is the deal. So this is actually, are you guys in crisis mode now? Never. We're firefighters. <laughs> we're we're good at fire. crisis. We are good at putting out fires. You need to find out what's going on with the ski supply. We need to bump it up a little bit. Do we have to go outside of Evansville to find it? Because we do consume quite a bit of ski, I would imagine. We had a lady donate 12 two liters out of Mount Vernon, Indiana to us on oh, how Monday. How nice, how nice. Yeah. All right, so people rummage through your pantries right now. See if you can find some ski for these firefighters. This is a dire situation. We've got a shortage of ski here on the west side of town. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Tell us about the work you guys do yes, in the local 357. So the local 357, we're the men and women of the Evansville Fire Department. Mm -hmm. And we take care of our own, but we also work with other community groups. Uh, we're very active with the Boys and Girls Club. We're very active with Swerka, uh, sponsoring their events, providing uh, manpower. So if Swerka's Brewfest, we provide a couple of EMTs every year to make sure everyone there is safe. That's well, coming out, too, guys. Yeah, so, yep. uh, October 16th, Next I want to say. Yeah. Yes, yes. 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 So make sure you get your tickets for the Swerka Brewfest. Wait a minute, are they going to have enough ski for me at the Brewfest? I'm worried. <laughs> you got to talk to Swerka about that one. <laughs> they might have a different supplier. They might found, They probably found somebody down the street that had 20 uh, two liters in their pantry. Maybe. They uh, possibly. They, 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 they know a lot more people than I know. Well, <laughs> so. well, I think you guys do great work. What else do you have, by the way, at your booth other than these two wonderful? I, I love this sausage. You Try that one now, the peanut butter, I mean, I'll tell you one thing about the peanut butter. It makes it tough to talk, though. I should have known that. <laughs> yes, we both should have known so that. So we keep it simple. Yep. Uh, we've got slushies, and this year we've got the Big Red, the Sunkissed, mm -hmm. Blueberry Lemonade, oh, and when cool. we have ski, ski, and then we have different variations of our sausage burger. We have the Flamin' Hawaiian, which is the jalapeno and pineapple with. Oh, so that's like a combination I'm glad of these missed, two I that we've that had, one, right? I'm glad that one, so. so we got a lot of it. We've sold out of uh, sausage bags the last two nights, so we're hoping to sell the sausage bags again tonight. That's the way I look at it. You sell out, you're doing all right. And how big of a fundraiser is this for you? What percentage, you think, uh, of this money goes for the entire year with what the, you need in order to operate? Quite a bit, because what we do with this money is we have a new union hall we're working on, but we also use this money to help sponsor other uh, right, groups in the community. Using for others, right. Yeah. So this money will help for Boys and Girls Club when they need an event, they'll come to us. We'll donate that money back to them. So we don't really keep the money for ourselves. We give it back to other charities. Even better. Oh, okay. I it's thought a you guys would be beer. buying a fire truck or something with some of this money. <laughs> no, no, we don't buy fire trucks, but we try to help out other groups that uh, we don't get the chance of interacting with all the time. Gotcha. Well, thank you so much for coming and bringing the food and get us, getting our appetite cranked up this morning. Yeah.